This is episode 18, the adjective phrase. Now we've seen that a noun phrase is a group of words with a noun at its head. And so the adjective phrase shares a similar definition, but this time with an adjective at its head. An adjective phrase can include adjectives, adverbs, or called, they're called modifiers because they're modifying the adjective, and conjunctions. And these all work together grammatically pointing to the adjective. And the adjective phrase describes the noun. This means that a single adjective can also be an adjective phrase. So let's take a look at some adjective phrases together. Here we are. So our first one, the old heart-shaped black and white box was the pride of her collection. Number two, the days are becoming increasingly longer. Number three, she saw three sleek gold sports cars. Now these are sentences and we'll look at the adjective phrases um, once I've read all the sentences, we'll go back and have a look. Number four, give me two very good reasons why not. And finally, number five, a little girl is walking down the street. So let's go back now and have a look at where the adjective phrases are and just a little bit about them. So let's have a look at the first one. Our adjective phrase in this sentence is old heart-shaped black and white. Let's underline that, old heart-shaped black and white. So that's our adjective phrase, so AP for adjective phrase. Now and in here is a conjunction, but it's joining together black and white. So it's still part of the adjective phrase. It's pulling together those two adjectives, black and white. So this is an adjective, this is an adjective, and the conjunction is pulling them together. Okay, let's have a look at the next sentence. The days are becoming increasingly longer. Now in this situation, increasingly longer is our adjective phrase. So that's AP for adjective phrase. Longer is the gradable shows that long is gradable, it's the comparative form of long and it, it and increasingly here is modifying longer. So longer is an adjective in its comparative form and increasingly is an adverb modifying the adjective and they're both part of the adjective phrase all pointing to longer and of course this is about the days. Let's look at the next one. She saw three sleek gold sports cars. So I've put three sleek gold are our adjectives here. And that's our adjective phrase. You'll notice that there's number three, which is an adjective as well. Okay, let's go over to the next one. <coughs> Give me two very good reasons why not. So the adjective phrase here is two very good. And of course that two very good, the adjective phrase, is all describing the reasons. Once again, we have our numerical two. Very is the adverb or modifier, which is actually modifying good. Okay, it's not very reasons, it's very good reasons. So that's all part of the adjective phrase. And finally, our last sentence is, a little girl is walking down the street. Little is our adjective phrase here. And this adjective phrase has only one adjective in it. And that one adjective, of course, is little describing the girl. Now we might take a little bit of time here to look at the order that the adjectives are written in. So as English speakers, we just say our adjectives in a certain way without thinking about what order we say them in. But if we said gold three sleek sports cars or heart-shaped white and black old watch, 
I think it would just sound a bit weird. We'd feel a bit confused by it. And that's because we do actually have a set order for um, adjectives. And this is the order here. I've put them down the side in the order that they're talked about. So we have the quantity or number, like two or three, the quality or opinion, good, size, big, age, old, shape, square, colour, red, proper adjective, Australian, or purpose, or qualifier like that, like musical. So let's have a look at a couple of um, combinations of adjectives and see how that works, okay? So our first adjective phrase might be something like six little round red and we can use that to describe uh, tennis balls. You don't get too many red tennis balls but this is something special. Okay, so six little round red tennis balls. So we have six, that's the number. We have little, that's the size. Let's do a line so you can clearly see what it is. Then we have the shape, which is round, and the color, which is red. Six little round red. Uh, and then of course, tennis balls, which is the noun um, at the end. Uh, and tennis is a noun, not an adjective, so it's a noun modifier, so it's not going to be part of this adjective phrase. Okay, what's an example of a purpose or qualifier? Perhaps, like I said, a musical. Uh, so not a musical, the noun musical, but perhaps musical being like musical genius. So Gershwin was a musical genius. In that instance, musical is the purpose or qualifier of the genius in that situation, or a musical score, musical notation, stuff like that, okay? And then of course, maybe let's have a look at some other examples here. Um, we'll get brown. How about my, my being the determiner, great uh, 200 year old, there you go, there's a lovely age for you. 200 hundred year old Australian and then the noun there might be nation so great 200 year old Australian nation so if we said this a little bit out of order so if I said my 200 year old Australian great nation. Well, it's just it's a little bit weird. Some of them sound more weird than others when they're in different orders. But just imagine being a, um, a learner of English when it's not your first language and trying to get your head around the fact that adjectives have to be said in this specific order for it to feel natural. Be careful though, because I did mention um, the purpose of qualifier of a noun like, like um, musical in Gershwin's musical composition, for example, does not have to be an adjective. For example, the open door, open is a verb, or the grandfather clock, where grandfather is a noun, or the one I mentioned earlier, the tennis balls, where tennis is also a noun. So if they're not adjective qualifiers, then they do not belong to the adjective phrase, because they're not, they are pointing forward to the noun that follows, and they're not grammatically relevant to the adjectives at all. Okay, so you've just got to be careful of that. Anyway, we're going to see all this in action pretty soon. So I'm going to finish with adjective phrases. And in our next video, we're going to look at adverbs and adverb phrases together. So until then, thanks for watching The Language Code.